Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac. We, last time, tried Judas. Got to Satan. Should have beat Satan. Got to Satan with like seven hearts. And what seemed like really good damage at the time. And just kept getting hit by um, second stage Satan's like spread attack that he does. Like, got hit by a mortar or been hit by it ever. Usually for that fight, you hit a, I get hit a couple times by that spread attack. Um, but usually it is the uh, bomb fly from the third stage that, you know, what end of my run of it's gonna happen. Cause they just hit you like crazy for no good reason. So this is where we've already had the quarter and the map. So we are in a good, good position already. Oh, don't, thank you. To go with our Judas run. Like I said before, in the last run, I'm trying to go through all of the different, um, I was go down here. And the compass and the key. Alright. Map and compass. All on. But I have no bombs. That was a... There's shadows in there. Okay, I'm gonna go right to hope to get a bomb so I can go into the secret room. It's so like I was saying. So before... Oh, no. Ah, almost. That was some crap, though. Um. Come back. Can I get a bomb? Can I? Yeah, I did get a bomb. And back up to 7 cents. Okay. So, I'm going through, I'm going to try to beat Satan, which each individual character. So I'm probably going to play Isaac for a while. Unless I just want a good run. Um, wow, I haven't seen this before. This is Raw Liver, I believe. Yes. Raw Liver is a health up. As you see, it gave us two, it gives us, um, two heart containers. And I believe it's a minor slowdown. Like, 0.3 down. I would like Book of Law, it's like a point six. Uh, you know, on the numbers, weird random number meters that make no sense to anybody. And we are, <laughs> good grief. Apparently this is the most strategically placed poop I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Alright, so, got another health up, because the game's already like, oh man, you need all this health up, because you are sucking but it's on the first floor we got a quarter we got the map we got the compass we got raw liver and the health up I mean map compass three heart containers and still having eight cents left at the end and a key it's kind of amazing like, just utility-wise, that is a amazing, amazing floor. Now, if I just get a bomb, I get that spirit heart. And maybe, you know, get some or spirit heart. I get that tender rock, maybe get some spirit hearts. So these little guys are going to run away from us, which is fine and dandy. Fine and dandy. Oh. No! And learn how to dodge. And you learn how to watch the guys that are on fire. Stop. Why are y'all hunting me down like crazy people? I like how the fire. Now it is an actual light, not just say, so you know, sarcastic light. I like how the fire makes them, um. It's a little mishap, right? Yeah. You can pick that up, but we don't actually want it. Um. How the fire makes them not only faster and stronger but also makes like changes their AI so they start chasing you because they don't really chase you otherwise they just kind of bounce around the screen kind of but once they're on fire like they actively come after you like and quickly kind of like these jerks who actively chase you down long now there we go I don't have full health, so I can't go in there. There's another tinted rock. 
Just let us try to do some angled shooting. We'll go back over the top to get those guys on the bottom. There we go. And for the guys at the bottom. Sometimes they're also good shots and they actually shoot out of the little section like that. And sometimes I'm not a good shot and this takes all day. But hey, other times I'm dead on. Just not that time. Of course he's a champion, it's gonna take way too many of our shots to hit. All that for two cents. I don't want two cents, I want two bombs. Oh, those are closed. I mean they're both two. Now I want three bombs. Can you give me three bombs, game? No. Not a single bomb. So this game is going to counteract the last floor by making this floor 100% worthless. I mean, that's, that's right. I mean, that's what, you know, I'm not like overacting there, right? This floor has been 100% worthless. All we've done on this floor is lose half a heart and lose a key. <laughs> right. Alright, so let's hope Gemini here gives us a damage up or any kind of item we actually want to pick up and take with us. I don't really care what it is. But of course, like it damage up. I hope that'd be nice. You know, Pyro would be nice, but I don't think that's in the base game. We got another health up, we got a spirit heart. We have rotten meat. I still have no bombs and no keys, so I can't go to the shop or the secret room. Oh, I can get back to the mob trap room, which may give us bombs. So we're going to walk all the way back down over there. And hopefully in this room, we will get a bomb. Those are not bombs. Game, game. You're trolling hard. Alright, so hopefully at the end of this room we get a bomb. Huh? Ever hopeful. Ever hopeful. So you will circle strafe for these guys. And then stop circle strafing because that guy on the bottom seems stuck. Alright, so that was worthless. Sorry to waste everybody's time there. But we cannot get into either of the tender rocks we found. And that is how it goes onwards down to the caves. Alright, so let's go down and look for a key. Most important thing of the run so far. Look for a key. Multiple keys, hopefully. A whole slew of keys would be fantastic. And they ate them. That was not a key or an item I wanted. I would like some bombs as well while I'm requesting stuff I may not actually ever get. Oh no. Sometimes they just get like, you know, they get that timing down. It's like, nope, you are not getting out of here. Okay, pull him down, and they go up. Alright. Thought that was fairly well executed. Kill at least one of those before you back up some. Kill him. <laughs> hey, we got a heart that we can't use because it took away our spirit heart, not our regular heart. Like, yay! Alright, no, whoa. He turns quickly. We have the stars, which will get us into the, um, here. Alright now, it is on. We don't have mom's knife, which is, uh, probably second best item in the game. Second only to Epic Fetus. Or perhaps Brimstone, or you know, it's in the top five, pretty much no matter who you talk to. Now, whether or not I will be any good with it, because I've not played with um, Mom's Knife in a while, because we unlocked Mom's Knife just recently, as you might remember, from beating Mom's Heart with Blue Baby. 
So you have to you know, so you have to beat the game. You have to beat Mom's heart ten times. You have to beat her, then beat her heart ten times. You gotta beat the game at least eleven times. In order to unlock Blue Baby. Come on, give me some. Thank you. That's not a great item, but okay. Um Oh, then I can go to the... Get this card back. And once you beat... Things with Blue Baby, you get... Access to Mom's Knife. Is that right? Is that what gives you Mom's Knife? No, Blue Baby gives you the D6 for Isaac. Beating Satan, I'm sorry, beating Satan gives you Mom's Knife. Everything I said is to apply, just forget the Blue Baby part. And change it to beating Satan. So we just unlocked this a couple runs ago, I do believe, but I ha we hadn't seen it before. And here's how it works, as you can see. You either just walk into enemies, it does an incredible amount of damage, or if you hold the button down, then release it, you throw it. And the more, the longer you hold it down, the farther you throw it. Up to a maximum of whatever your range is, which is right there. I mean, I'm sure it's a max, but like, it's less than your range, like you can never throw it all across the room. I think like half the room is about as far as you're ever going to get. But it's real good for, you know, playing defense against flies or hunting you down. You just hold a knife in front of you and they'll run into it. Which is very, very happy. I'm not sure how it plays with, um, Book of Belial. But I'm pretty sure Book of Belial is just a straight damage up. Like, doesn't even care. Let's go fight whoever this is, which is Gluttony. And that's the power of Mom's Knife. We just two-shotted Gluttony. You know. I missed all three of those. And walked into that. So that's part of the problem with Mom's Knife. You have to be closer than, every, you know, than pretty much any other weapon ever. Except for a unmodified uh, number one. It's about the same range, probably. But it does so much damage if you can hit with it, which apparently I can't get grief. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We'd finally get another bomb. We have one bomb, one key. Let's go into the shop. I know I'm backtracking, but I finally have eight cents, which I didn't realize I had until just now. And we got the steam sale from the beggar while ago. So we can afford whatever's in there. So let's head on down here and try to maximize our chances with Mom's Knife by getting whatever the shop has for us, which is hopefully something good. Like the battery. Which is amazing. So the battery recharges your space for item faster than it would have normally. And it already charges once every three rooms, so we can pretty much now use Book of Belial every other room. I would say almost every room, but between Bombs Life and Book of Belial, nothing's going to last long enough to get very many battery charges, so I'm suspecting it will charge every... If I charge every two rooms, say every three, I don't know. So they were already down to check that out. <laughs> okay, so I'm not sure what this range up is going to do. We can now shoot... See, at max, we can shoot to about this red spot there. Pick this up, and we can shoot, you know, another half an inch, quarter of an inch, something. It's not very much of a change, which is fine. And you know what? They're giving you something, you know, that powerful that that's like, look, we can't help you out with, um, we can't help you by giving you even more range. Alright, so that is Small Rock, which is another damage up. But also gives you a slow. So, which is not, you know, good, of course, because slow, slow. Speed is a very, very important. Um, did that bullet curve up as it went? Like, what in the I just got hit twice on that. That was awful. Slow is a very important stat. As I'm sure you are aware if you've played this before. So that might have been hubris to take that. But. 
me do it anyway. So, so we can just walk into all this. We are so I could really use a um 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 um, um a what was I gonna say a wooden spoon or some other speed giving item. A magic mushroom like we got last run would be phenomenal. Let us head on to the left and down. Oh, we're only on the caves too, okay. Ridiculous. Right, was there other item? High Priestess. Uh, high Priestess versus the Devil. Let's take the High Priestess. So we can not kill ourselves with the... Uh, of being too close to these TNT uh, barrels here. Let's take out these little guys. I mean, Mom's knife is ridiculous. I mean, like, you know, rooms normally hate to. It's like attack fly got us hurt there. And by attack fly got us hurt, I mean. It killed something for me, and my awful dodging walked me into the shot. Any chance Greed has something good? He probably stole something that's bad for you. Range down. Give me range down. I'll use a mom's knife. Come on now. Though I guess, of the, um, you know, negative pill effects, range down when you have mom's knife is probably, you know, one of the better ones to end up with. Security. Well, I actually took damage on this room, which makes me sad. Oh, we got a health up, so we're up to six hearts. We only have four. And we're only through the caves. Um. So hopefully, I can end up with, you know, health and... Over now and just... I just make some pause for a second. Hopefully, I can end up with some, you know, health by the end of by the time we get down to sh show. So we make it to show. So by the time I get into the womb, we have some health, and I can remember how to play with knife. So I think I'm doing pretty well. Like right now, our, our problem is not because of the knife. Our problem is because my inability to actually dodge anything. Which would be partially solved by extra range. I would give you that. Let us go in here and see what is going on. We have six cents. Um, let us go to the shop and look for whatever's out that way. I don't know. Just hold on to the knife so we can kill these flies and they walk into it. Get another bomb to get us back to where we were meant to go. I don't want to go in there because we only have one key. Whoa now. Come on, little brain dude. Little brain dude. Or big brain dude. I mean, you know, half his head is a brain, so that's kind of. You know? That's not how humans operate. Like, what are these guys? You're always going to assume they're human, but. The entire back of their head is brains. They're probably not. Alright, so we're on depths. Depths one. Um, that's two cent. We're gonna buy it, because why not? I'm going to buy that ladder. I'm not sure why. I don't want that pill bottle. That is mom's pill bottle that we unlocked a couple of um games go. Maybe two, maybe one, maybe three. I don't know. Oh no! <laughs> so these are guys. When we hit them, we will kill them straight out. We just have to, you know, not let them short hop into our faces while they're jumping around like crazy people. 
So we got two keys. So I'm going to go back to that chest that's right there and extend this game even farther. And let's blow this up. Hope we can... Oh, we got one side. That is good. Go back to full health. So, I said a uh, moss pill bottle we unlocked a couple times ago. And that just gives you a um, free pill every like six floors. It's a space for item. No, six floors, six rooms. A space for item, and I believe it's a one uh, one block per room charge. That could be wrong. Just as one with Belial a while back. But it just gives you a random pill. It doesn't identify them, it just gives you a random pill. So if you're Kane, it's a really good item. Because I mean, you have, you know, a nice, um, easy way to get pills that you know are going to be good because Kane can't have bad pills. So. Another thing I discovered, discovered all kinds of things recently, was that if you have full health and you have an unidentified pill, when you identify it, it can't end up being, um, full health. You will not get a full health pill while you have full health. Like, as you're... Like, once it's identified, like, if you have a pill, you know, if you identified a full health pill before, and you picked up a pill, I mean, you could pick up a full health pill again, of course. But, supposedly, according to how the code is written, and again, assuming the guy's reading the code, right? Who knows? I assume he is. Um, at least, is you know, in Wrath, you can't... Look at that damage. That's ridiculous. You can't... If you pick an unidentified pill and you have full health, it will not be full health. So the rooms are ridiculously easy. We don't need to freeze people. I mean, it'd be nice, but considering what we have going on, we don't need to. So let's go check out the secret room. And get a lot more money. So Greed was not in here. Oh no, Greed's on the other side of the map. Oh, okay. Cool. I was about to say, so Greed's probably in the... Um... In here. But there's already a Seven Deadly Sin guy somewhere else. We might as well buy this, because we want Depths too. There's no more... Um... Plus about everything, actually. There are no more item rooms past this. So we might as well just pick up anything we can afford. So let us make our way down to Mom's Heart. Like, we just shocked everybody by not following the path and just walking through here. And they're like, oh no, what do I do now? I'm gonna hide in the corner. Like, that's gonna save them somehow. So we will not go south, because that's obviously not the right way to go. That room was ridiculously easy, if slightly dangerous. Oh no, what am I supposed to do here? Just let crap run into you, I guess. Okay. I'm not sure what the solution there is. Except for, you know, hope they jump at you. We can hit them before the spikes get to you. Okay, so the ladder made this um, easier than it might have been otherwise. So let us wander down to here. Let oh no, I like this room. So as you get right in their face, you can hit front with a um, knife from in the front, as you just saw. But it doesn't seem to work. What? Okay, they're just there. It doesn't seem to work consistently for me when I'm at a distance. Like my throw it across the room. Maybe it's like the hilt. Maybe like the hilt has to hit it or something. Can't believe I just walked into mom like that. Five, All right, there we go. Three hits on mom. And this time we have the map and the compass. So we can actually you know, go to the ball. So I should be correct this time. And not have to worry about things. And we have our x-ray glasses. We just come down here and get this money. 
which is even better because we can just come down here and get um we can bypass the room so let's use this for a minute we're looking for spirit hearts half a red heart would be nice yeah that's good not really anything we don't actually really need much but we have this money that we can't use for anything else and we're not going to cost any more shops for the rest of the game you know the next three floors so might as well blow all of our money bombs would be good to get from this actually if i'd get like a spirit heart and some bombs that'd be nice i don't need red hearts so those are kind of worthless to me okay forget it we're done with that. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go this way. I get super impatient with those rooms, so I'm like, I ain't got time for this gibberish. Oh no. I should have played that better. I could have gotten through that without getting hit, but I didn't. Because that would require forward planning. And not, you know, seat your pants planning like I tend to do in this game. So let us run over here. Let us hope for something good in here. That was not what I meant when I said something good in here. Alright, so this should take like one good hit if we can get one, which we haven't yet. That did not do as much as I was expecting. There we go. That's what I was expecting from it. So we got a range up to go back with our range up and range down we previously got in this run. Alright, one, two, let us head over here to our boss. What kind of crazy looking champion something is that? How much health have you got? Let's go in here, see what's going on. We got money, which is, again, not useful. But let's skip a room, so, you know, let's not... Let us not look a gift horse in the mouth. Which, you know, would be a good saying if you actually were ever given uh, um, horses a gift. Let's see what this pill is. Tears up. I guess that's okay. We still have the High Priestess. I'm not sure why I still have that and haven't used it yet. Probably like you forgetting that we have it. Okay, so can we just run this way? Basically, didn't take any damage there. Um, I'm no. <laughs> oh now. Y'all just relax, and I will come over here and kill my skinless friend. And let's fight. Mom's heart. So there is one. We are so slow. Oh my goodness gracious. This is brutal. Hey, Monstro. Did you see that? Did you see how quickly that went? Alright, so we have six hearts. And one, two, five rooms. All right, let's. Oh, oh. Come on, greed. I don't need to with you either. Not sure this room's any better. Actually, yes, it is. This room is better than both ones we were just in. And we got a heart back. And now we can skip both those rooms we're in. Whoa, whoa, buddy, boy. Come here. Let me kill you with this. So we took a hit. He's shot because I'm holding down the knife. I'm holding down the fire button because of the knife. Um, because that's how you charge its range. That's why as soon as I open the door, he's shot. So these guys can shoot through rocks, as you just saw. Did he kill the other enemy orders? Attack flight do it. I'm gonna trust our attack flight did it, because that's crazy if that I thing kills other mobs for us. That's amazing. Okay. 
So in this four weeks, she managed to gain a heart on the way to fight Satan. Um, let's come here and see if we can't rock Satan's world. There we go. That's how you time that. And that's how you use and that's how you use the knife like a boss. Oh, I missed. I missed. That's right. Just, just die already. Boom. What y'all got? Get that on this. And there it is. Our first run with where we got Mom's knife. Our first time beating Satan with Judas. And we unlocked the monster manual. And there is our Satan ending, which I believe is the same Satan ending. Yeah, same Satan you always get. Which is that Isaac decides to avoid the world and just lock himself up in the chest. Next time we'll probably start on... Cain, I suspect. I am Missile. This has been Binding of Isaac. I will see you next time.